Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw the flower of life symbol. Let's make a new document, go to file, new and set the width and the height to 960 pixels. Click OK. Let's change the stroke to none and the fill color to purple. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from one corner to the other. Next go to the artboard tool and select show center mark from the top. Open the layers panel and let's lock this layer. Now we will create a new layer. Click on the create new layer icon and let's turn off the visibility of the bottom layer. Now we'll draw the main part of our design which will look like a flower. Select the dark yellow color. Now press the letter L on your keyboard for the ellipse tool. Click in the center and holding down the shift key draw a circle. Next we will copy and rotate this circle around the top anchor point. To do that press the letter R for the rotate tool. Now press and hold the ALT key and click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Type 60 for the angle and click copy. And press Ctrl D four times to make more copies. Now select everything and we will delete the parts we don't need. First go to the Pathfinder window. If you don't have it open, go to Window and select Pathfinder. And choose Divide. Next select the Shape Builder tool. Now press and hold the ALT key and click on the shape to delete it. You can do it one by one or click, hold and drag across a few shapes to speed up your work. Now we will copy and paste this shape several times to form our design. Let's move it up. Now click, hold and pressing down the shift and alt keys drag it to this intersection until it snaps. Then release your mouse. And press Ctrl D two more times to make two more copies. Let's zoom out. Now we will duplicate this row without the top segments. Go to the Group Selection tool and drag a box to select everything. Now press and hold down the Shift key and click on each top segment. Press the letter V for the Selection tool. Click on the selected area and holding down the ALT key move it down to this intersection until it snaps. Then release your mouse. And now press Ctrl D four times to make more copies. Now switch to the Group Selection tool. Click on this segment and while pressing down the ALT key move it to this intersection to make a copy. And let's make five more copies. Now we will select all the segments we've just created and copy the whole column two more times. And we are done with the harder part. Now we just need to delete some of the segments. It would be good to have a photo or sketch of the flower of life for reference. Select everything and let's resize it. Now using the group selection tool 
we will change the color of all the segments that we will keep. This will help us visualize what parts we need to delete. Let's start with this circle. While holding down the Shift key, click on each segment to form the circle. And let's change the color of it to black. Now let's do the same with the two overlapping circles. Just click, hold and drag a box to select all the segments at once. And let's add these two segments and these two. And change the color to black. Now we will select all of these segments. And change their color. Now we need to select these segments on top and change their color and these on the bottom change the color again and we need these three on the bottom and these three on the top and the last three on the side Next, we will delete all the orange segments. Just drag a box around them and press the delete key on your keyboard a few times. Now select everything and let's line up the center of this shape with the center of our artboard. Next, we will get rid of the fill and change the stroke to black. Select everything and click on this double-sided arrow to swap the colors. Now we will draw the final part of our design, which is a circle that surrounds the outside of this shape. Click on the stroke box to select it, go to the ellipse tool. Now click in the center, hold and pressing down the shift and alt keys, draw a circle until it snaps to the outer points of our design. Now we will draw another circle that is just a little bit bigger than this one. To do that, select the Scale tool, press Enter and type 107 for the uniform and click Copy. And here is our finished design. Now you can go ahead and change the color, the stroke and make any additional adjustments you like. Let's make the bottom layer visible. Now select the top layer. Change the stroke color to white. Increase the stroke weight to 2. And deselect show center mark. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.